In a metallic roughness PBR workflow, base color map values are incorrect if they are too dark or too bright. This depends on whether the pixel is marked as a dielectric or a metallic in the metallic map. This happens because in the real world some base color values are just impossible. For example, you can never have pure black or pure white color values. The PBR validate switch, which is available both in the base color and in the metallic map editors, displays a green-red overlay, marking incorrect values in red. You can also press Ctrl B to toggle this overlay. And you can validate only dielectric values, only metallic values, or for both. So we have loaded this map and we have set the metallic map to all zero, which means a dielectric. But how do we know which values are correct? If you leave the mouse pointer over the PBR validate switch, this tooltip appears and at the bottom you can see the base color brightness ranges for dielectric and for metallic. So for our dielectric material, values can only be, brightness values that is, can only uh, be between 50 and 240. To know the brightness of a value, we can use the paint tool, selecting paint and pressing the Alt key to bring the picker and clicking. These values are all below 50, which means they are incorrect and will appear in the PBR validate overlay in red. How can we fix this? Well, we could simply use the adjust tool to increase the overall brightness. And as we do so, there are less and less incorrect values. However, in this case, uh, the problem is that it would brighten the entire image. How could we only change the incorrect values? To do this, we could use the keying tool. I'll select base color map as the guide and I'll enable the validate overlay. And we can pick one of the incorrect values. And by replacing it with uh, a color with a brightness value above 50, they are corrected and only those values, not the entire map. Let's see another example. I'll enable PBR validate. And in this case, the problem has to do with values which are too bright and above 240, the upper limit. Let's try just using adjust in this case. Okay. That was easy. But oops, we have a problem here. And the problem is this value, which is too dark. Since it's an isolated value, we can simply take care of it with the paint tool and with a quite low strength, simply clone from another area. I'll enable PBR validate first and we can just take care of it. There are two validation ranges which can be selected in the preferences window between tolerant and strict for both dielectric and metallic. And this is how you perform PBR validation of your maps.